Okay, I've been doing the same stuff for three months. This is a show at the Comedy Spot last night, so everything I am going to be doing tonight is completely brand new. Yeah. I'm serious. Absolutely. I just, I just came up with it five seconds ago. Do you want more up music or? No. You ready? You're I'm good. good. I, uh, my name is Jason Van Gilder. I hail from the city of Flint, Michigan. I've been out here for a year and a half. Uh, if you haven't heard, uh, Flint, Michigan looks like a bomb went off it. <laughs> I like to tell people that they mistaked it for Afghanistan, got the coordinates mixed up, and just went to town on it. Uh, Flint, Michigan has actually some of the worst uh, depression rates, obesity rates, and one of the highest murder rates in the entire country. Which is why Michael Moore is the best to represent us, because he meets at least two of those criteria. Thank you. It's a miracle, though, that I didn't even learn to read. I went to a school that had some of the highest funding in the state, but some of the lowest standards. Uh, for English class, our teacher would come and have hung or, oh, excuse me, hung over, and I was like, teacher, what are we going to do today? And she'd be like, we're going to watch Charlotte's Web. So she'd put on Charlotte's Web and pass out her desk. I watched Charlotte's Web so much that I wish that Charlotte was a bitch, and that she wrote in the web, eat some pig so that motherfucker Wilbur would die, for God's sakes. That's absolutely no. I don't know if you watch the news. I watch the news a lot. Have you even heard uh, there was a whole underwear bomber thing that happened in uh, December? And uh, first they came out and said that you know, he came out and he got on a plane with no passport in the first class. And then the passengers came out and said that uh, he came with a sharp dressed man. And then the FBI came in and said that they were all liars, and the FBI finally came out and said that they let him on the plane as a sting operation. But I'm here to tell you folks that President Obama finally came out to clear up what really happened on the plane, and it kind of went like this. Oh, uh, well, what really happened is uh, I flew out of the Oval Office, grabbed the plane with my super strength, and froze the assailant with my super breath. Then wiped everyone's mind. Now folks, I can't be everywhere at once. And because of this, I will be putting in full body scanners in every airport in the United States. Yes, we can. See your cans. And ass. And dick. Chain. Thank you. Anyways, and if you know, we really should be upset about this full body scanner thing because it all once again attacks our privacy again and makes it really hard to get through airports. Which I don't really give a crap being male. I'll go through a full body scanner and go like this and start dancing around in a helicopter for him. <laughs> Do you like that? Can we come inside? No? But I would feel bad if it was a girl because, especially a very attractive woman, you know, they come in there they're like this. Is this good? Yep, hold on a second. Okay, please stand back. Please grab the pole, please. No. Grab the pole? Yep, like this? Never. Okay. Now uh, raise your one knee up here like this. Is this really necessary? Are you a terrorist? No? Okay. Uh, one more thing. Yes? Please say full body scan me, bitch. Excuse me? Say it or you're a terrorist. Nope. Full body scan me, bitch. Thank you very much. <laughs> that one's going on fullbodyscanu.com. I don't know, does anybody know who Tom Brokaw is in here? Anybody fans? He used to be a newscaster, he's retired. Anybody? I'm gonna do it anyway, I don't care. <laughs> He actually has lent his voice to um, audiobooks, but he's actually, he's got a passion. It's called uh, erotic audiobooks, and it kind of goes something like this. He pumped his head apart like a shotgun, his abs glistening in the candlelight, and like a can of hazy cheese, it came out all over. In other news, I'm gay. That's new. But uh, that's pretty much all I got, what I'm working on. Thank you for listening. I am Jason Van Gilder.
holy shit. Uh, give it up for Jason. Um, I'm currently trying to open a package and uh, didn't realize that I needed to hop up here real quick. Where the fuck is Thomas from uh, Me Love and Scissor Hands? Is he in the house or is he smoking a cigarette or uh, out back blowing some guy for five bucks? Where the fuck is he? Blowing some God. Okay, so uh, I've got at least another three minutes because he's really good at what he does. Um, oh, there you are. Oh, he's done. Even better than the last time. So, Thomas, if you want to plug into the blue cord, you're good to go. I'm just going to uh, change out the tapes real quick here. Just to make sure that we get all of you. So we can throw your ass on YouTube and make fun of you later. Cool. Um, I, I was going to tune my guitar. That's what I was going to do. But.